Hey guys, this is Webpick. Today I want to tell you about the problem 6 in the recent USA team selection test. So let me first go through the problem with you. We are given a triangle ABC with in center I. Then we define a point D on the line BC such that the angle AID is 19 degrees. Next, we draw the X circle of triangle ABC opposite to the vertex A and denote the point tangent to BC as A1. And then we define the point B1, C1 similarly. So we draw the X circle opposite to the vertex B and denote the tangent to AC as B1. And then we draw another X circle opposite to C and denote the tangent point to AB. C1. And the statement is the following. We want to show that if the four points A, B1, A1, C1 is cyclic, then the line AD is tangent to the circumcircle of the triangle D, B1, C1. So this orange line is tangent to this green circle. So this is the problem. When I first saw it, I feel quite uncomfortable about this point D and the circumcircle of uh, the triangle D, B1, C1. It really seems to be coming from nowhere, and it's really hard to relate them to the other points in the configuration. So I will decompose the proof into two parts. In the first part, I will try to explore the problem without taking the point D into account. And then surprisingly, we see that the problem is related to the harmonic points or something called Apollonius circle. And that will be the focus of the second part. So let me start proving the following statement under the condition that A, B1, A1, C1 is cyclic. So if these four points lie on the same circle, then necessarily we have A1, C1 is perpendicular to AB, and also A1, B1 is perpendicular to AC. This means that A1, C1, IC, the X center opposite to C, is collinear. They lie on the same line. And similarly, A1, B1, IB lie on the same line. And the second statement is that under this condition, I, the in center I, lies on the line B1C1. Then to move it, we use the following fact that the line IAA1 and the line IBB1 and the line ICC1 are concurrent. Indeed, to see it, we can prove that they are intersecting at the circumcenter of the triangle IA, IB, and IC. So let me write it down. So we have that the three lines IA, A1, IB, B1, and IC, C1 are concurrent. And let's call this point X. And indeed, X is the circumcenter of the triangle IA, IB, IC. Circumcenter of IA, IB, IC. So now we have that XC1 is perpendicular to AB and XB1 is perpendicular to AC. This means that AC1, XB1 lies on the same circle. So AB1, XC1 is cyclic. Moreover, since this angle is uh, 19 degree, we have that AX is the diameter. Is the diameter. Now let's assume that x is different from a1. In this case, by the assumption we know that a, b1, a1, c1 is also cyclic, which implies that a1 also lies on the circle with diameter ax. In other words, we know that x, a1 is perpendicular to a1, a. But however, this is not possible because x, a1 is perpendicular to BC 
and A1 lies on the line BC, which implies that A will lies on the line BC. Well, this cannot be the case. So this is not true. So X must be equal to A1. And this means that X lies on the line BC and then a1, C1 will be perpendicular to AB, and A1, B1 is perpendicular to AC. This finishes the first uh, statement. As a result, we have that A1, B1, IB is collinear, and also A1, C1, IC is collinear. Then the second statement follows by simply apply, applying Papa's uh, hexagon theorem. Hexagon theorem which states that if we have three points which are collinear, say IC, A, I, B, and a second pair of three points, B, A, 1, C, which are collinear, then the intersection of different pairs or between these points is collinear. And in this case, B, 1, I, C, 1 lies on the same line. Next, we are going to introduce a very important point in our proof, which is this point T. So indeed, T is the orthogonal projection of A onto the line BC. So T lies on the line BC such that AT is orthogonal to BC. In particular, by a simple angle argument, we can see that T also lies on the circle of diameter AA1. So this means that the five points A, B1, T, A1, C1 are on the same circle. So T is on the same circle as A, B1, A1, C1. Then we are going to prove the following statement that the ratio between the segments T, B1 over T, C1 is equal to the ratio between the segments A, B1 over A, C1. So the ratio between these orange segments is the same as the ratio between these green segments. Then if you are familiar with uh, harmonic points or Apollonius circle, this immediately implies that AIT lies on the Apollonius circle with back to the point B1C1. And this is a very important step towards our goal. So let's see how we prove this uh, simple equality. Since T lies on the red circle, the triangle BC1T is similar to the triangle BA1A. So the triangle BC1T is similar to the triangle BA1A. This implies that C1T over AA1 is equal to C1 B over B A1. Then similarly we can prove that the triangle B1 C T is similar to the triangle A1 C A. And this implies that B1 T over A A1 equals to B1 C over C A1. Then I will mark the fact that the line AA1, BB1, and CC1 are concurrent, and by Seva's theorem, this implies that AB1 over B1C times CA1 over A1B times BC1 over C1A equals to 1. And now if we combine these three equalities, this directly implies the one that we desire. So we get TB1 over TC1 equals to AB1 over AC1. To summarize in this first part, we have proved that if AB1, A1, C1 is cyclic, then necessarily AA1 is the diameter. Moreover, the in-center I lies on the segment B1, C1. And if we define the point T as the orthogonal projection of the point A onto the line BC, then we have this relationship that dTB1 over TC1 is equals to AB1 over AC1. 
and this implies that AIT is indeed the Apollonius circle with respect to the point B1 and C1. So far we have left the point B in behind, and now is the time to consider it. So by definition we have AI perpendicular to ID, and this means that A I T D this four point is cyclic, and moreover A D is the diameter of uh, this uh, circle. On the other hand, we have this condition that T B one over T C one equals to A B one over A C one, and indeed we can furthermore get this is equals to I B one over I C one since A I bisect the angle C one A B one. And this means that T A I, these three points, lies on the Apollonius circle of uh, respect to the point B1 and C1. So Apollonius circle of B1, C1. And this implies that the center of this circle lies on the line B1, C1. So center on B1, C1. In particular, if we denote the point M as the intersection of B1, C1 and AD, necessarily this point must be the center of this uh, purple circle. Now let me write it down. So if we denote the point M as the intersection of the line B1, C1 and AD, then what we show is that M is the center of this purple circle, which is the circle AITC. Now, by the remarkable property of Apollonius circle, we know that MB1 times MC1 equals to R square, where R is the radius of this circle, which equals to MD square or MA square. In particular, this means that MD square equals to MB1 times MC1. So MD is the tangent line with respect to the circumcircle of DB1C1. And this finishes the proof. Also, in the same way, we can prove that MA is tangent to the circle B1AC1. This means that MA is tangent to this red circle. So AD is also tangent to this uh, red circle. So a side effect of our proof shows that the line AD is also tangent to the second circle of triangle AB1C1. And indeed, this is true in general, no matter where A1 lies. So can you prove this result? Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, don't forget to uh, subscribe my channel. Here are some other problems related to the Apollonius circle. Take a look if you want to learn more about it. Thank you. Bye bye.